Hey all and welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. The sun is shining, it's kind of warm. I would actually say that it's a little bit more on the cold side. But nevertheless, the spring is coming, so we gotta work. So, what I've done from since last time, I tied this up so it's closer to this and it wouldn't poke me in the eye or something when I uh, walk through the little gate and what we're gonna do today let me show you <laughs> today I'm gonna be working with agro textile which is this thing and this prevents weeds from growing and people usually put it around some I don't know like blueberry bushes or little strawberry plants or something so nothing unnecessary wouldn't grow around so I want to put it in the veggie garden and at the bottom of the plant pots so nothing unwanted would start residing there <laughs> And now comes the best part of all of this, the most fun part, which is building the plant pots. And actually, they are built already. As you can see here, the wooden plant pot raised bed, whatever you want to call it. And let me show you how it looks when it's folded. So this is how it looks when it's folded. And to build it, you basically just pull it. So it's very easy to assemble and actually they use it not as raised beds but as crates in the store and you can actually see it painted in the store with produce inside so that's quite cool and yeah the cool thing is that you can s stack them on top of each other no matter the size so maybe in the future I'm gonna do that and now the task is to create some nice layout with them in here and also this doesn't go all the way there because as I said before I have garlic here so I want to have some space to eventually dig it out and <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> I didn't have enough <laughs> oh well Okay, so that was quite a challenge. I changed the layout quite a few times, but let me show you what I came up with. So, this is what we have for now. So there we have garlic, there's the first one, then we walk here and there's the second one. And the reason it is like this, because when I w will like squat and wants to do something I wouldn't be like sitting on the next one because initially I wanted them to be next to each other well at first I wanted them to be the other way like this but I underestimated this beautiful bush and I thought that I can push it further turns out I can't really so they can only go this way horizontally so they are like this for now and they really wanted to have like very comfortable wide path to walk on and here I left some space 
because I wanted to get one more of these pots and grow maybe herbs here that would be cool and here I'm thinking of two thinner beds on each side because the big ones I, I'm not sure it's a good idea especially since we have quite a lot of space here and putting only one here would be kind of a waste that's how I feel for now and there's this rose bush so maybe something thinner and a little bit smaller we'll see but first of all I have to get some more of this and finish the place and now I'm actually wondering if I should fill those up with soil today and I've been looking at my seeds to see if I actually have anything to plant right now and one packet caught my attention <laughs> look at that what a better way to present a plant this is basil what a better way than to present it on a plate perfect I decided to fill these things with soil today and I have bags of soil here and there so that's what I'm gonna do now also pro tip <laughs> make sure that the ground is even because then it's easier to ground the raised beds Goodness me, my back is killing me right now, but one is done and I don't have strength anymore to do the other one. So that's the task for the next time. Saying that, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!